Grimstone's mechanics are directly connected to the lore of the world of Mea. And so, when you open the book in the first pages, you will be introduced um, to the story of the world briefly. Um, you will take a look at the ages um, before the current timeline until you reach current events. And in these first pages, um, you'll see that it's a story of the sun versus the moon. And uh, the moon goddess Vestia created the world, but at first the world was just frozen because there was no sun, there was no warmth. And in this frozen waste, Vestia alone uh, bore children, the Varun, the vampires, that were the first tribe to ever walk uh, the lands, the frozen lands of Mea. And despite the cold and the darkness, they actually developed civilizations and thrived in magic and uh, science and alchemy. And, uh, but even these uh, night creatures, they waged wars uh, between them. And then Berican, the sun god, came along and uh, he brought warmth and light and nature and everything changed and the world became an impossible place for the Varun uh, as they were forced to withdraw for the greater part of the day. And uh, Berican created the Aran, the Sun Tribe, and naturally another war um, broke out between the Varun and the, the Aran, and this was a sacred war, it was different. And uh, as time passed, and the age of cold, as it was mentioned, changed into the age of light, and the age of light passed. Uh, we entered the age of turmoil, and now we have more tribes. And these tribes um, were the seed of Berican and Vestia together, finally. And um, they were both mixed, and some favored their mother, and some favored their father, so um, the bloodlines of uh, each tribe um, determined um, their fate. The moonborn tribes, uh, the boar, more of Vestia's blood, were closer uh, to the ways of old, the ways of magic, the arcane arts, because magic is directly connected to Vestia and the moon. Moon is magic, and uh, the Sunborn tribes, they were explorers, uh, they were driven by ambition, and uh, they were warmongering, an explosive race, and, I, and so um, the Age of Turmoil was a, a time filled with conflict, and at the same time, the world developed and cultures were created and societies were created. And after a while, it was no longer a, a, um, a matter of uh, sun and moon because nations were mixed and there were tribes of every kind in each nation. Uh, but again, there were problems. And uh, even if people forgot for some time. Every time there was tension, every time there was fear, and every time there was uh, a threat, people always turned to their roots and uh, they persecuted the moonborn tribes. And so the Varun had to withdraw to castles and remote societies and the moonborn tribes um, 
live the more natural way of life instead of uh, mingling in societies, organized societies in a way. And, that, and as we reach current events, the age of the wheel, we have the empire of Exeria, um, the largest empire of the world of Mea, uh, the dominant force driven by the Berican church um, that has chosen the way of science and especially after the discovery of the Grimstone that allowed them, allowed them to produce weapons, modern weapons. So they took advantage of this and they waged another war. And uh, the most significant events of this time um, was the, the war between the Xerian people and the Gralian people, the Munbun tribes as they are called, uh, as Xeria decided to expand further and conquer the lands, the ancient lands and the forests and the places that these tribes um, had lived for thousands of years and uh, the war was bloody and massive and in a way lost uh, as the Exerian Empire prevailed and then all the people again, again were merged but forced in a way to, to live together and so the taboos never went away in the and the whispers and the rumors and the stigmas never went away. And so there's always this division between the sun and the moon, the old and the new, the science and the alchemy and the magic and medicine and everything, everything. There's a conflict, a constant conflict. And um, this is actually the current timeline when the game begins. I mean, you get to create a character and you get to choose your tribe among six tribes. And there's uh, Moonborn tribes and Sunborn tribes and both mixed. And you can choose either to be um, a person that follows um, the ways of their tribe in a stereotypical way, but you can be also something else. You can be in conflict with yourself or your history, your legacy, your cultural, cultural legacy. And, uh, but it's important to read the first pages of the story so that you can have an image of this heavy history, heavy and bloody history, so that you can... Um, it, it will provide you with a better gameplay experience. Um, because it has this electricity between characters. And so, if you take a look at some abilities within the game, um, they connect to this lore, and uh, in a way that is, it is not used in game mechanics. For example, there is a tribe, the Liva, the werewolves, and they're actually a sunborn tribe and not, an, and not a moonborn tribe and uh, they can transform into werewolves because normally they have a more human, beastly form, but kind of humanoid, uh, because they're all considered humanity. They're not monstrous, they're just uh, in different shapes and sizes, but they are all humanity and they accept that. Even the vampires are humanity. It, it's been like that forever. And so um, they can transform into uh, more beastly versions of themselves. But instead of having this ability available, let's say once per day or twice per day, like you see in other games, it's a game mechanic. You actually get a calendar at the first page of the book that explains the phases of the moon, the lunar cycle, and uh, the days of the month and you can see that the month renews every 10 days. And um, each day is connected to a phase of the moon and then you can shapeshift when the moon is high. 
or when the moon is full or when the moon is half it depends but you have to follow the cycle and so your character knows when uh, to prepare and uh, what he has to do in order to be able to um, play through the, through this uh, phase and it's very intriguing it's very interesting and it's much much more interesting than having gamey mechanics that really don't make sense but make things neat and symmetrical and so um, that's why I put the lore in the books in the book so that you can get one without the other and uh, it's, a, it's a brief version of lore but it's important and I highly suggest that you refer to it for the better gameplay experience.